Hi everyone, I hope you all enjoy reading The Laramie Project. So my favorite quote from the book was when Rulon Stacy says, I guess I didn't understand the magnitude with which some people hate, which was on pages 68 and 69 in my copy, but I felt like this line captured part of what I was feeling when I read the book. Like I didn't know um, how much hatred was in some people's heart and how hatred could drive someone to um, commit murder. Um, especially just because they were gay or because of their feelings about their lifestyle. So I felt like um, this quote really resonated with me and kind of hit home like some of the messages in the book regarding hate and the power of hate. Um, so moving on, my favorite stage moment was Moment, the Gem City of the Plains, um, which is the scene where all of the media crews and the reporters rush in um, to the stage and the, they mentioned that in the original production television monitors flew in from the um, light grid so you're just surrounded by all of these monitors and all these news crews and then they all start talking over each other while live feeds are going to the monitors um, so you see that Laramie was just overwhelmed with the media attention um, and it's noted that the actors um, act like this that they are just so overwhelmed like kind of scared of everything that's going on and I felt like I was able to vividly picture this in my mind as a reader so I can only imagine what it would be like um, watching this live um, I'm sure you would probably get that same feeling of um, being overwhelmed and not being sure how to act um, so I thought that was very powerful um, and it was a very powerful way to stage a phenomenon that is very hard to understand unless you personally experience it so that's why that was my favorite uh, my favorite character was officer reggie flutie who was the policewoman in her 40s who responded to the 911 call about matthew being stuck in the fence um and i really liked her character because even after she discovered that matthew had hiv she never said oh this job is too dangerous i can't do this job anymore she never regretted trying to save Matthew's life. She didn't think twice. Um, she was just so selfless and kind. Um, and everything she did in the play just kind of warmed my heart because she didn't have any of that hatred that was discussed in the play. She just seemed like she really cared about the community. She was passionate about her job. Um, and then one of my favorite like scenes with her um, is when she finds out that she is um, HIV negative and she says the first thing she does is um, kiss her husband. I thought that was really sweet and just made me smile. Um, it was kind of a bright light in the play. Um, so moving on to the world of the play. Um, so I felt like this play was very unique in the way it was structured. It's mentioned at the beginning that um, the technique used is called moment work, which was developed by Moises Kaufman, who is one of the playwrights that worked on this play. Um, so it's all these different little theatrical units of time that um, are kind of um, like combined to create meaning and I thought that was really powerful because it wasn't really tied to any particular time or space it was just about the characters and about um, not even dialogue just their thoughts and they were able to speak directly to the audience um, you're able to get all these different perspectives speaking directly to the audience kind of right after another um, so it was very Brechtian in that way. Um, but I thought this style was really cool and it allowed the playwrights to pack a lot of perspectives and a lot of information into a relatively short play and you got to see a lot of Laramie in their work. So this is my visual response. Um, so as you can see, this is, the fe this is a fence. It's supposed to be like the fence that they... Um, found Matthew on or modeled after that fence. Um, so on one side of the fence, you have like hate, stigma, fear, um, ignorance, prejudice, and then blood kind of um, looking like tears, kind of a nod to um, some of the stories about how they found Matthew and how he had blood on his face except for where he had been crying. And then on this side of the fence um, are things such as family, human rights, hope, acceptance, and then down here it says the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act of 2009. So my idea behind creating this visual response was to kind of show that Matthew's death was 
um, kind of a turning point in terms of um, gay rights or just like acceptance, not only in Laramie, but um, kind of throughout the country, like his tragic death kind of sparked a movement. Um, so just kind of to show that this through this tragedy, there came some good and hopefully like looking forward, towns like Laramie or the people in Laramie um, fall under this side of the fence and they prioritize the values on this side of the fence opposed to the values on this other side of the fence. Um, and I would just kind of challenge everyone to think about different characters in the book or um, different events in the book and just try to think about um, what side of the fence they fall on or even in your own life, like what side of the fence you fall on or what side of the fence you'd like to be on or people you know fall on. I think that's interesting um, to kind of contrast hate with love in a way. So my three discussion questions are, question number one, after reading the supplemental article titled The Truth Behind America's Most Famous Gay Hate Murder, has your opinion changed regarding why Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson attacked Matthew Shepard on October 6, 1998? Question number two is, did you like the technique developed by Moises Kaufman called moment work that is used to format the Laramie Project? Did you think this style added to the main messages of the play? And the third and final question is, what was your favorite moment from the play and why? Um, so if you guys want to head over to the discussion board to talk about that or to even leave your answers in the comments below, that would be cool. Um, well, that's all I have for my individual presentation. Um, I hope you guys have a great day.